Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Dhoni once again from learn-animation.com. This is another quick video related to Selenium. So many times when you start working with Selenium, the moment you write your first script or code, you will see your test will get started, the browser will start, everything will work. But in the console, if you see, you will be getting a lot of warnings. So it is not impacting your test execution for sure. But in case if you want to get rid of this warning, how you can fix it, that is what we are going to see in this video. So just a small quick fix, but before we move further, I will explain why this warning is coming, okay, and how you can fix it. Before we start, I want to highlight I'm using the latest version of Selenium, which is 4.13.0. So two days back, they have released the new version. But if you're getting this uh, warning from the previous versions as well, the concept will remain same, the fix will remain same. Now, let me show you why you are getting this first. So this is, I've written one statement, web driver driver could a new Chrome driver. And now the moment I start any application, let's say I want to load any random application. Okay, let's say google.com because it's not related to the application that you're automating. This is related to the dependencies. So I will clear this first of all, so that we should have a clean, nice console. Now let me run this again. The moment you run this, you will be getting this warning and the session will start. So it's starting your browser and it's starting google.com. See, no impact on the execution, but it's not what we need, right? So sometimes when you have a lengthy log, so again, it will be tedious to uh, detect what is important for you, what is not important. So now let's see this one by one. So if you see the first line, it says failed to load class org.slf4j IMPL, which is implementation, then static logger binder. So basically, when you run your Selenium code, it is not able to load this class. So static logger binder is the class which it is looking for. So what is SLF4j? SLF4j stands for simple logging facade for Java. It's a logging framework in Java. So suppose if you want to generate logs, you can use this library. So when you run your Selenium code, it is not able to find this. Because of this, it says defaulting to no operation logger implementation. So it's switching to NOP. And they have given one more link that how you can fix this. So if I open this URL, they have given a quick fix how you can do this. This warning message is reported when SLF4j static logger binder class could not be loaded into the memories. So basically we don't have this dependency because of this dependency, this warning is coming. It is not able to load this particular class. So the recommendation is you can place one of this jar. Since we're using Maven project, we will add a dependency that should solve the problem. So let's quickly fix this. I'm going to uh, open mvnrepository.com. And I will look for org.slf4j. The moment you hit enter, you will see a lot of bindings are available, okay? So you can see slf4j API, this is what you need. Simple for uh, logging facade for Java. You will get log4j12 uh, and you will see this slf4j simple. I will recommend you to use this one. Now, which version we have to use? So you can see the latest version 2.0.9. I will go with this version, which is 2.0.7. So you can see this is a logging framework. These are the tags, and this is the dependency that we need to add. So you can copy this dependency. And before we uh, move ahead, you can see this also have a transitive dependency. It means the moment you use this simple SLF4J simple, it has a compiled dependency with SLF4J API and same goes with test dependency. It means the moment you download or uh, use this dependency, this will be coming automatically. So I will copy this and go back to the poem.xml file, expand this. So right now we have only one dependencies. So under the dependencies tag, you can add one more dependency. This is just a comment section, so I can remove it and I can use the formatting. This is optional, but I love formatting. So now you can see dependency one for Selenium, dependency two for SLF4J. Now, if you go back and execute, 
you will not find any warning okay so you can see the session started and in the console we don't have any warning for logs that's a very quick fix um, if you want to implement just add the dependency so you can go with directly slf4j api or simple i use simple so that i will get simple plus api both and if you want to see in terms of maven dependencies if you go to your maven dependencies you can easily find these two dependencies slf4j api and slf4j simple so very quick video i hope it will be helpful for all of you if you think this video has helped you in any manner then do share with your friends colleague subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care